Ever wondered how our first love shapes the way we experience love today? And in the future, my quick thoughts on Shifters at the Bush Theatre. Shifters grabs you from the gay guard. It's the story of Dra and Das, two heterosexual ex-lovers whose paths cross after eight years. And let me tell you, things ramp up fast. The play weaves through their history and current moments, taking us on a wild ride of fast love, destiny, and the marks they leave behind. Benedict Lombard's writing is like a puzzle. Every piece, every flashback fits perfectly, revealing layers of love, abuse, and the struggle with cultural identity. It's raw, it's real, and it hits right in the feels. The characters, dress and us, are portrayed with such authenticity that you'll find yourself connected to them quite soon. And although the storyline navigates within the privileged dynamics of heterosexual relationships, some of the nuances in the way love is portrayed does strike some deep emotional notes that will touch you regardless of your sexual orientation. Not because the way we live and process love is universal, that's Disney, but the way we connect as humans is. The direction by Lynette Linton has crafted his play with such a delicate touch that you can't help but lean in as the romance and drama unfold. I really loved how the play examines how memories of past relationships can shape our present and future, often in ways we don't expect. Also, the non-linear narrative is a clever way to mirror our inner lives. We like to think life's events unfold in a straight line, but our thoughts are always mingling with memories and future hopes, making our inner worlds anything but linear. So I thought this was captured beautifully in the play. Shifters tackled tough topics like abuse and trauma, illuminating their effects on people and their bodies. It opens up conversation about social class and upbringing and how these influence dreams and chances. So clearly the themes are significant and while the perspectives on them may not be brand new, it's Benedict Lombard's writing that really makes them stand out. The character's vulnerability is both moving and poetic. So even though tickets are all sold out right now, I urge you to grab the play text. It's a read that's sure to stir and warm your heart. You're wondering why I highlighted the character's heterosexuality? My view in the description of this post.